Welcome to the video. Today or tonight, we are going to make some pasta carbonara. But first, we have to boil some water for the pasta. Bacon, we also need to chop some. If you also have some salted meats like this, like uh, salami or pepperoni, add them, up. add them in there too. So half. Remember, the easiest way to chop is cut in half, in half, in half until it's small enough to be chopped to little pieces. There you go. Like that but this is gonna be cooked separately from the bacon so like that hey that's the stove put a skillet and then dump all the bacon no oil just the bacon we're gonna, we're gonna cook it until it's um, bacony, meaning crunchy bacon, but the oil has been rendered also the fat. This should be good enough. You can see the oil under it. And the bacon looks crunchy enough. So we're gonna put it aside because we have to go back to our boiling of the pasta. So we have to put it there. And then we go back to the pasta. What's going on with the pasta? The boiling water. It is, is indeed ready and we're gonna put a whole box entire box of pasta right here okay. and then it's important that you have to watch the pasta boiling because uh, water usually comes out on top of the pot especially if you put the lid on like that but the irony is not to put the lid on because uh, you want to make it, you want to cook it faster. And I believe we're going to have to put some salt in it. a little bit. There you go. And keep in mind this is one pound. Yeah uh, right there. One pound of pasta. So this is boiling. We need to lower the temperature a little bit. I lowered it to uh, medium. 175 degrees and then you know we just get the feel of the pasta right now it's still cooking and then while we're waiting we have to do some shrimp so we gotta have to fill it this with uh, warm water right there see it's warm now and then we're gonna transfer the shrimp the frozen shrimp in there So we're gonna have to peel these shrimp. We gotta peel. Now 
right there. Let's make sure you stare this occasionally so they don't stick. Uh, notice I didn't put oil in it. It's always worked out for me that there's no oil and it doesn't stick. So I, I stick to it, no pun intended, with no oil. Let's put the sauce together. So our recipe will include some eggs. Three of them. We're gonna whisk the egg. And let's add some shredded cheese. This is Parmesan or Romano, it doesn't matter. Maybe a cup or so. Just get the feel of it. And then we're gonna mix it up like this. And that should be enough. Now we have to go back to the pasta. Pasta is looking good. I think we're done here. That's our colander. I did a little way of straining the pasta. So we do this. No, oh, it should be okay. So there's your pasta right there. Okay, we're back on the frying, frying pan skillet. We're gonna add maybe, I don't know, two or three tablespoons of butter.
have to add some chopped garlic right here. And this is the peeled shrimp. Then cook it until it turns pink, slightly pink. It's okay. Why? Because we're gonna put it on top of our hot pasta, anyways. But you know, it cannot be. It cannot be this. It's gonna be on the pinkish side. We pre-cook the shrimp and then we're gonna add the shrimp back to the pasta when the pasta is cooked. So now we are left with this this uh, buttered garlic, but we're gonna add the bacon oil also. We're gonna add the bacon oil. So this is the bacon earlier. Put the bacon oil here. Just the bacon oil. The bacon will be added a little later. So let's see. So this uh, this might be half of the uh, package of pasta. The other pasta has been cooked al already because we still have uh, extra sauce. Uh, and then we can make some more bacon later. So basically, uh, pork fat. So we cook it. Mm. We got some more pork lard right here. We're gonna add a little bit, a little bit more. That's pork fat, pork lard. A little bit of the cheese egg solution or mixture.
Here's some pasta water from the boiling pasta earlier. Put this. And then I have some leftover pasta alfredo right here. So we're gonna add this. Today we have two kinds of alfredo sauce. One is the store bought one, and the other one is homemade. Actually, we made it here at home. Unlike this one, it says home style, but not necessarily made at home. Let's see here. Some more Alfredo sauce that we made here at home. It's basically uh, uh, dairy plus uh, some cheese. And we continue to mix. Add the bacon. And a little bit, a little bit of the uh, Italian meats. Take note that the pasta uh, does not have to be fully cooked when boiling because you still have to cook it here on the pan. I think it's almost done. And then it should be okay. I'm gonna add some more, I'm gonna add some more cheese. And then, it's done. And then we're gonna top it with some of the shrimp that we made earlier then bury them so that they cook a little bit more and at this point the pasta is pasta is ready to serve watch look at that all right enjoy 